that's way. Yeah, it's still not too far from me, but it's really good. Well, a lot of the stuff never gets on mine because it's only got one point in. Really cool thing. How much are you asking for the jobs? I haven't seen that since I was in a hurry. Let's see. This right here. This piece. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. You bet. I'll definitely be for three
I watch a buddy guy. CS collectibles. Uh, we've got our first Mortal Kombat 10X, whichever you like to call it, statue, which is total con. Uh, it's all sculpted, uh, digitally sculpted. He's so far he's my favorite new character that I've seen, so that was why we chose him. Um, one of the perks of owning the company. Here's Total Con. And I don't think it's a good thing. We're just getting into the six scale market. We've got an Alice Cooper. Again, it's a little self-indulgent that I'm a big Alice Cooper fan. I actually worked for Alice Cooper 25 years ago. So uh, we did an Alice Cooper six scale figure, which I think is coming out pretty nice. What other uh, one six scale would you be uh, what other doing? Ones yeah, one six scale, yeah. Uh, well, music-wise, we'll, we'll test it with Alice. If Alice does well, then I'd like to go into other things. I'd like to do things like Jim Morrison and David Bowie. I, I just think they'd be cool, but I don't know if they're going to sell yet. So, it's just something different. But on the other side, the other side we have Sons of Anarchy. And uh, we had originally showed prototypes last year at San Diego Comic Con, but I wasn't happy with the prototypes. The faces still need work, the costumes still needed work. So, we actually started from scratch on the costumes. We hired a completely different company that also works for Hot Toys to develop the costumes and then I went back in and re-sculpted the heads uh, myself and uh, so these are the new prototypes and I'm really happy with these so I think these are the ones that are going to go up for pre-sale soon. Sub-Zero, yeah, well. <laughs> uh, This one, people have been waiting for a long time, ever Dude. since the Scorpion back in get over here October, I think we, we did Scorpion. 
uh, his third scale, mixed media. Uh, I sculpted the face, and uh, Ryan Pintar did the arms, and uh, pre-order is two days from now, it's this Monday. Uh, only 375 pieces. Is it coming with that s the skull? With yes, the there's there's a there's a, a, a spine rip fatality. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which fits into that hand. Um, there's kids and stuff here, so I just thought <laughs> I'd keep it a little clean and not bring the spine rip. Um, but yeah, the spine rip, the skull with the spine goes in his That's hand. It comes it. with it. Akuma. I didn't know, get one. <laughs> as, as, as fans of collectors know, he's my favorite Street Fighter character. Uh, I sculpted this one myself. He is sold out. Awesome, yeah. Um, quickly. Very quickly. Yeah. Yes, he sold out very quickly. He's got the LED eyes. He's uh, one third scale. He's uh, he's one of my favorites. Uh, yeah. Over here is He Man. Yeah, this is nice. You know, uh, we did the original filmation cartoon style uh, for the first couple of years, and people were wondering if we were ever going to do a realistic version of He-Man. And uh, the time has now come to start the realistic line. Um, it's a little bit of an amalgamation of different styles of He-Man. Uh, I really like it. I sculpted the, the, the face. And uh, John Riley sculpted uh, the rest of it. And uh, yeah, it's got a nice, simple base, but it's obvious what it is. Um, pretty happy with, with the He-Man. Oh, he looks great. And finally, we have another uh, self-indulgent project, which is Ursus from Planet of the Apes. Planet of the Apes is one of my favorite things from the, as a child. And Ursus, General Ursus, was always my favorite character. Um, and I've always wanted to make this statue for probably 15 years. I've it looks it awesome. My, thanks. I've had it in my head for 15 years as to what I wanted it to look like. And it's finally done. So here's General Ursus. Um, it's all mixed media. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, the, the leather and the ropes and everything. Uh, I don't know how much it's going to cost yet. Um, a lot. Um, and but, people will buy it. <laughs> I, you know, my feeling was if we're going to do it, we have to just go all out and do it right and not pull any punches or, or trim any costs. And just do it right. Um, we got, you know, real mane on the horse, fur around Ursus. Uh, it's got everything. It's got the rifle, the machine gun, the pistol. I, I really love it. So hopefully Planet of the Apes fans stick. So this one does well. You're going all out on the line to... Yeah, well, it, yeah, we'll see how this one does. If this one does well, then we'll, we already have our plans for the next ones, but we haven't started them. We're going to wait and see how pre-sale day goes on this. So there, uh, Planet of the Apes fans, order it if you want to see more. Cool. And uh, that is it. This is going on the uh, Rad Titan channel. Could you shout out Rad Titan? Cool. Uh, shout out to Rad Titan. Uh, thanks for putting us up on your uh, YouTube, right? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, man.